Welcome back to Algebra 1. We're going to continue uh, evaluating these algebraic expressions. Now, uh, much like we did for the last section, we're going to say that the variable x in these problems that follow is equal to 2, uh, y is equal to 3, and z is equal to 4. And we want to evaluate the algebraic expressions that follow. So we'll kind of put this off to the side, and we're going to use that, use these facts in all of the uh, questions that follow. This is given to you the value of these variables. Now what if you have the expression 8 times parentheses y plus z and we're told evaluate this algebraic expression. Well all you do is you stick the value of y right here, you stick the value of z right here, and then after that you just calculate it as we have been doing the whole time. So the 8 on the outside you can't do anything with him because you always do what's inside the parentheses first. The y is going to be 3 plus the z is going to be 4, and so now you have to, at this point, do what's inside of these parentheses first. So again, the 8 will stay there, multiplied by, and then you will have 3 plus 4 is 7, okay, and then 8 plus, or 8 times 7, 8 times 7, uh, because now you can mentally drop these parentheses since you've done what's inside of them, now you have a multiplication on the outside. Uh, 8 times 7 is 56 and that's going to be the final answer there. All right, so let's go off and do the next guy here, the next uh, expression that we have. What if we have 1 half multiplied by z minus x? Same sort of thing. We just take z and we stick it in here. We take x, we stick it in there, and then we evaluate and see where we end up. So what we have is 1 half multiplied by, inside here, z is equal to 4, 